Hi there guys what's up how you doing this is your friend and tutor manas and guys today we're going to be continuing with our discussion based on the problems on orthographic prediction so this is going to be yet another problem and for this particular object we're going to be making the front view okay from here we're going to be making the top view from here and we also would be making the left hand side view okay so when we're going to be looking at this object over from here all right so let's go ahead and do that and for that we're going to be having initially a reference line and let me tell you this reference line is something above which we're going to be having this vertical plane over here okay the portion above this reference line and the portion which falls below this reference line is for horizontal plane now horizontal plane is meant for top view whereas vertical plane is meant for the front view so guys initially we're going to be assuming that this entire object is lying at a height of 10 millimeters above the horizontal plane and at a distance of 10 millimeters in front of the vertical plane so this point is at a distance of 10 millimeters above the hp and this point over here let me show that this point over here it's at a distance of 10 millimeters in front of the vertical plane so let's go ahead and make the front view you guys can see this portion okay let me zoom on this so this has a width of 65 millimeters so what basically i would be doing is i need to go this distance so 65 minus 15 will give you this much um it's 50 so let's go and travel a distance of 50 mm that's it now the next thing to do is to travel upstairs by an amount of 8 mm so let's go ahead and fit that 8 done now what about this distance guys this is given as 15 okay let's go ahead and plot that so this is going to be 15 so let's go ahead and check this uh, it should work out as 65 all right all right that's 65 okay, fine Now the next step from this point we need to travel upstairs by an amount of 12 mm you can see this okay so we are now going to go ahead and plot a distance of 12 mm from this point 12 again this horizontal distance that we need to travel is 25 so this is going to be 25 all right now let's think about what is the next step that we are going to do now this vertical distance you can see this vertical height you can see okay now this overall height of this object is 32 Now, if you subtract this 12 millimeters from this 32 millimeters, you're gonna get 20 millimeters as the value. So we can say that we have to travel a distance of 20 millimeters in the upward direction. All right. So from this point, we need to travel 20 millimeters. That's it. Okay. Now, what shall be done? Okay. Now, from this point onwards, from this point onwards. what we need to do is we need to travel a distance of 42 mm in the right hand side direction so for locating this point let me hypothetically put up a point in this direction this is going to be 20 all right and then from this point onwards we need to travel a distance of 42 that's it so i've reached here and this point corresponds to this point over here now what to do now so we did this 8 we did this 15 and what about this height i don't know what this height is something else has to be worked out then okay so the best possible thing to do right now okay is to travel along this line of at any random length and to join this point with this point okay i don't know how much the length of this line is but now i know that uh, this intersection point and below this intersection point there is this corner which is 15 mm below so i'll be traveling a distance of 15 mm over here that's it and from this point what i'm going to be doing is let me show you i had a point over here somewhere here that's it okay now let me erase these things this also so initially it eventually it has worked out as okay so this is going to work out as let me show you guys uh, let me okay okay let me show you so this should work out as 42 and this i'm sure will work out as 42 all right and this should probably work out as 15 from this point to this point that's it that's 15 perfect no issues so this is probably the front view and let us see whether there are any other portions which needs to be shown let us figure that out okay guys that's all we can see in the front view and now let us go ahead and darken the portion all these lines let us darken them because these are the lines which are going to be visible directly um let me you guys can darken this with the help of an edge pencil that's it something is left okay this is yeah done so what's next guys um we need to create the top view for this and for that in the top view you're going to be seeing a width of 
and this length of 35 so I'm gonna go ahead this is gonna be 65 and down below I'm gonna be going 35 65 and then back to where we started all right so this zigzag portion you see this zigzag portion will appear as a line over here that's it this line over here represents this one okay now this zigzag line yet again will appear as a straight line in the top view by this line and finally we have this zigzag line in the form of this straight line and let us now darken all of them with the help of an edge pencil done so what else are you gonna see okay now this inclined portion you see this inclined portion starting from here ending here is gonna be seen from the top so basically what I'll be doing is I'm gonna be projecting these points from here to here all right and this is the portion that you're gonna see let me darken that all right is there something else which you're gonna see now this distance I'm talking about this distance from this point this uh, sort of a rectangular portion that you're gonna see um, let us figure that out now this distance is 10 okay so what basically I'm gonna be doing is this point corresponds to this point over here so I need to travel a distance of 10 millimeters down below okay so that's 10 millimeters for you and I need to search this particular point all right so how how can I do that so what you need to do is you need to project this line in the downward direction so that's the point I'm talking about and the next thing to do is to join this particular point with this point okay so this is the edge I was talking about it will appear as something like this over here okay let us darken that all right now let's see what else can be done now there is this edge over here there is this edge behind this point there is an edge uh, behind this point there is an edge and that edge will not appear from the top so basically what we're going to be doing is something which cannot be seen but it is an edge in a particular view has to be given respect in the form of a hidden line so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to draw that line with the help of a hidden line sort of well that's it let me use a different color so that's a hidden line is there any other edge which is lying beneath the surface let us see well guys that's all we'll be able to see in the top view now we're gonna go ahead and make this side view so we, we're gonna be looking at this object from over here that is from the left hand side and it's corresponding left hand side view is gonna be made towards the right of this front view initially I'm gonna be drawing a line okay and let us project these lines towards the right hand side just do that quickly all right now let us rotate these lines by an angle of 45 degree and for that uh, please follow the steps you, you guys can make use of a mini tractor for this purpose done now let me bring horizontal lines from this point and let me draw this vertical line and please follow the steps the steps are pretty simple once you have made the front and top view uh, the side view is not really an issue it basically depends on the intersection of lines now that's all all right now we're gonna go ahead and create the final side view and for that uh, let's see what can be seen directly and is there an edge which is lying behind the surface we have to work that out also all right so from the side view you're gonna be seeing this L sort of a portion all right L sort of a portion and in fact this edge will be clearly vis visible this edge will be clearly visible this edge and this edge will be clearly visible in the form of a line and this zigzag edge also will be clearly visible in the form of a line so let's go ahead and plot that um, starting from here 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 that's it now let us figure out this L sort of a portion so this sort of a portion is 10 millimeters wide let us check that let us check that this this is 10 millimeters all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this downwards okay uh, until we reach here here and then we need to close it down here all right so this is going to be 12 let me check whether this portion is 12 or not yeah it's 12 <clears throat> is there something else which can be seen really let us work that out now guys there is an edge behind this this point somewhere here there is an edge 
but since it is lying behind the surface it has to be given some respect all right so we're now going to go ahead this edge is at a height of eight millimeters so where is it let me check this um this is eight i guess isn't it yeah so this edge i'm talking about so what basically i'm going to be doing is uh, let me make a line over here hidden lines that's it or even this this edge over here Uh, let me do this correctly okay now this edge this edge behind this point there is an edge in the form of this this edge i'm talking about this edge is also there when you look at this object from the left hand side the edge is always there okay it's not visible directly but it has to be given some respect in the form of a hidden line and let us do that immediately so what i'm going to do is i'm going to shift this line slightly towards this point and then I'm going to copy this and I'm going to shift this line over here. That's it. So that's all you will be able to see in the left hand side view. So guys, this over here represents the front view. This is the top view and this represents the left hand side view. So guys, that was all from my side. If you have any doubts or queries, do write them down in the comment section below. I'll be very happy to answer them as quickly as possible. I'm going to be continuing with this lecture series on orthographic prediction for this entire month and I'm going to be taking up a lot of problems and the level of difficulty with each and every problem is going to rise and you'll see that. And guys, if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing, then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of you can learn drawing, engineering drawing in the best possible way. So this is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep drawing.